Alright guys, uh, Ted here with another Minecraft video, uh, like 70th time that I've tried recording this. Uh, let's see if I can nail it this time. Alright, so um, today we're going to be uh, looking at how to set up a portable version of Minecraft to be able to use with uh, MCP. Um, this is helpful for if you're doing mods that have a uh, textures that are like 32 by 32 or 64 and you know all those other sizes um, the client that comes with MCP does not support that uh, and in my experience every time I've tried to uh, use MC patcher to get it to work it just overrided the uh, the jar um, when I recompiled, and then I would have to re repatch it. And nobody wants to do that, but I've uh, also made it easier for uh, for moving the uh, mod files, for like updating the mod files into the portable version of Minecraft. So uh, this is a batch script that I wrote myself and here's what it does right, so first off um, we have it it sets everything to a certain folder you know typical stuff and then we have it uh, right here color C it just changes its uh, color I think that's might be green or red and it says um, echo well, it says batch file scripted by Rogue Sid, that's me, and then it it goes into a folder that you set. You you see this mods with the Z on the end. You have to change this to uh, to accommodate your mod. Um, like you can put new mods or new mods, uh, new mods. Um, it has to be all one word. Um, and that has to be the folder name. So let me just change it back to mods, and it will delete all the class files in that mod uh, folder, and nothing else. Um, I believe you can change uh, set it set it up to where it uh, adds in PNGs. Well, it deletes PNGs, but um, I just wanted it to update the class files. After that, it will uh, activate the recompile script and then change its color to. Um, this might actually be red. Um, I'm almost positive that's red, but that might actually just be green. I don't remember. But yeah, um, it changes its color again and it, uh, it runs the script to reobfuscate. And what that does, it it looks for all the changed uh, files in the Minecraft jar after it's done recompiled it, and it uh, copies those to a folder within the MCP uh, folder. Um, so it in this next script, it looks for those files just like it did with uh, the class files for deleting them. But this looks for the class files in the new folder and then moves those class class files to the mods folder. And again, this has to be your mod folder name or else it's not going to work. And once that's done, once it's done moving all those files, it will launch your game. And right now I have it set to a... Uh, auto allocated version of Minecraft so um, it'll help load all the chunks and everything faster because I have a piece of crap uh, computer so yeah um, this is just like for I just need to explain w exactly what this does so people don't sit there and say it's a virus or whatever because it's, it's not alright um, you will need to have your uh, MCP already set up 
not sure if I said that before. You will need a fresh, uh, fresh Minecraft that's been modified with Mod Loader, um, and it needs to have been patched by MC Patcher for the textures if you're going to be using the textures. And uh, right now we want to make a new text document. Um, well, actually, we're going to be making a new batch. So type in Minecraft dot batch. Accept the changes. Go to edit. Right here, you put set space app data equals percent cd percent backslash down here you want to put dot minecraft backslash minecraft dot exe and then just save that um, I'm actually going to add an explanation mark to the front of this so it's easier to find uh, once it's in the MCP folder but yeah um, move both of these batch files into the uh, the folder um, I will provide a download link in the description from my uh, from my DeviantArt account where I will have a uh, deviation of this tutorial possibly or just these files um, well I'll explain what these files are in a much better sense like uh, just text explanations but yeah move your dot minecraft into the mcp folder and then you know have your uh, eclipse all set up once you have the mods um, ready to be uh, recompiled or you know compiled for the first time, it will recompile those mods. Well, it will compile the mods, reobfuscate them, move them to the uh, mods folder, and launch the game. But um, if you don't have any other any files, it won't down. Uh, it won't delete them. So. Uh, Yes, uh, here we'll do a test. New TXT. Um, we'll keep that. We're going to copy this. Do dot p and png. Those are textures. And then we just copy it again. And this time, we're going to rename it into a class. And, you know what, let's copy these a bunch of times. Group by uh, type, so it's easier to see what all gets deleted. And let's launch our batch file. And as you can see, it deleted everything that is a class file. But um, I don't have any mods set up, so it's not going to move the uh, files and recompiling. Um, that usually breaks my CPU, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, um, hopefully this does help you. Um, I know one person is going to get help from it. Uh, this is why I'm making the tutorial for them. Um, yeah. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully this video is not too long and I didn't ramble on again. Yeah, I did. Uh, this is way too long. But, you know, I'll upload it anyways. Um, so, yeah. Again, hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully you like the video enough to uh, be able to use it.